Hi, in our earlier video, we discussed about the Python enhancement proposal. And specifically, in the Python enhancement proposal component, we discussed about naming convention. In continuation with the Python enhancement proposal video series, we are going to see the next component in the PEP called indentation. Now, there are three variant types of indentations that we can work around with while we are coding Python. The first fundamental indentation is giving four spaces. So how do we define this four spaces as an indentation in our Python code? For example, let's say I'm declaring a variable called age, which is equivalent to uh, a value of 17. Now I'm going to apply an if condition. If age is going to be greater than 17 is the condition and uh, I'm going to open the block for this if condition. We are not going to use open and close curly braces here. Instead of open and close curly braces, we are going to use a colon. That colon represents the start of the if block. Okay, means in the next subsequent line, we are going to start the if block statement. Now, if I hit enter on this Jupyter notebook environment, automatically the environment will start its first line by providing four spaces. What I mean by that is if I'm going to print a value saying that this is a movie for adults. Now if you look at the starting point where it started with leaving four spaces from the beginning. One, two, three, and four. This four space is what we call it as an indentation for the if block. So every block should have a four spaced uh, indentation, space I'm talking about, or even you can use tab. But what we have to prefer when compared to space versus tab is, as per the PEP standard, they prefer the developer to use manual space of four rather than using tab because different environment will use different number of spaces for tab. Most of the Python uh, editor environment might recognize the tab means four spaces, but that might not happen in all cases in all environments. So it's good that we use manual spaces of four rather than using a tab key combination. Now, once this is done, if I hit enter again, the next line of that if block will start from the same uh, place from where the first line started. That's by leaving the four space again. So you can give more statements as you go along with the if conditions. If in case you want to stop the block of the if and you want to start with an uh, else condition, then you can go back to the beginning by eliminating the four spaces and then start with your else statement and instead of open and close curly braces every block will start with a colon if you hit enter instantly that the first line will start by leaving four spaces from the beginning of the else block now here you can say print this is a movie for kids So, the understanding here is indentation means four spaces to be left while you are using every block, a if block or else block. You might write multiple lines after the uh, first line in the block. Every line have to be started with leaving four spaces from the beginning. So, what if in case if I have an inner combination? We will discuss that in detail shortly. So, if I execute this, I'm getting an output saying this is a movie for kids. So it works fine. So what if in case I'm not giving the space here? So let's say I'm uh, not leaving that four space. If I execute this, it ends up with an indentation error. Please be noted that it is raising an indentation error. The, in, the interpreter is actually coming up with an uh, indentation error saying that the, uh, the block of the else 
is not started properly by providing a force base. Is this a mandate uh, rule? Yes. PEP have made this as a mandate rule that you are supposed to give four spaces. If I'm using tab, it takes the correct position of that uh, indentation for that particular line. But advisably, it's good that if we use space. So if I'm leaving three space, still that print statement is highlighted in red color saying that this is not a proper uh, indentation, indentation position to start with. So if I give one more space, and if I give one more space, now the print uh, appears in green color where the color coding says that whether you are in the right indentation place or not. So four spaces is what is ideally we use. If I'm giving five or six and if I execute, it still works. But minimum requirement is four spaces and the alignment order is very important. So always it's good that if you stop with four spaces rather than having more spaces post four space of uh, indentation. Okay. If you are not adhering to the indentation rule, then obviously you will end up with uh, an indentation error which is raised by uh, your interpreter. Okay. Now coming to the line break. So that is another standard of uh, indentation process. So how do we use the uh, line breaks here? Line breaks of indentations are like this. If in case I'm defining a function, let's say I define a function called add. And in this function, I'm going to place multiple arguments in as a parameter for the add function. So one is, let's say I have an integer argument. And then I have a float argument. And then I have a, let's say, a string argument. And then I have a Boolean argument. Now, this is a right uh, standard of coding, nothing harm in it because we have declared with four uh, uh, parameterized uh, uh, segments of this add function and you start with the block with uh, uh, appending with colon and then hit enter automatically the indentation will uh, have its four spaces uh, and then it starts its first line in the add function. So even in the function, even if you are writing a function, the indentation have to be followed. Now, now one more uh, interesting thing in the uh, in the learning of an indentation is line break. Okay, I'm discussing about line break. Now, what happens here in the line break is if in case I want to break this statement instead of having that this lengthy uh, parameter, let let's make it more readable by uh, dividing into two arguments per line so that I'm get I'm I'm placing an enter here. Now, if you see the moment I place an enter it occupies the right indentation order of the parameter. So this is called as line break. So in one line, maximum number of characters that you can have is 79 characters as per the PEP standard. In one single line, you can have maximum of 79 character. Beyond that, if you have characters, you better take it to the uh, next line. So that line break should also have a proper indentation. So if you take it like this, okay, and I'm leaving it uh, a pass here. It still works because it is it is not uh, ending up with the, any indentation error as such. But the problem is it's not highly readable. Okay, so automatically when I'm uh, approaching the editor to split this line, and it automatically applies a right indentation order. If I execute this, still it works. So I'm not getting any error on top of executing the code. So this is called as line break uh, of indentation and it is also for highly readability purpose. So we'll, we'll also see one more example uh, on this line break. So I'm coming to the beginning of the line where I'm going to declare uh, again a variable called age equals 10 and then I'm going to start an if condition and in the if condition I'm going to have multiple uh, conditions, not a single condition. I'm going to carry a multiple condition. So to start with multiple condition, I'm going to say age, which is greater than uh, zero. Okay. And I'm going to say age less than 17 or less than or equal to 17 is fine for me. Okay. So that's the kind of condition that I've enforced here. Now in this condition, in this conditional statement, you can see that there is a need of a line break. 
if in case you are going to apply a line break, it's good that age greater than zero and then go with and and then split up your line by giving enter. Now automatically the indentation space is provided for the if condition which is broken into two lines. The parameter of that if condition is broken into two lines but there is an appropriate indentation is aligned there. Okay. Now if I am not using that indentation and if I am trying to execute this, still it works. So no error have been raised. So this will not raise any error. Okay. But it's good if you have a proper indentation for better readability. And also it is not advisable to split with AND like this. Don't have a split up of AND like this and don't give your next condition like this. It's better to have the AND in the first line and the second line will go with the second uh, constraint uh, of code. Now this is one more example to understand this line break. Now the next uh, understanding is all about your uh, extra indentation. If in case you want to give extra indentation, you can go ahead and give it for better readability. So means you can use a tab here. So it will be more aligned well. So that tab takes four space again. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now it's highly readable. Age is greater than zero and age is less than or equals 17. So the past statement says that this if block is ideally empty. Now the understanding is if in case you want to give some additional indentation or extra indentation you can still go ahead and provide but default minimum requirement of indentation is four spaces so to make your code more readable in python we play around with indentations effectively so that your your code is highly readable and the developers can quickly understand your code by looking at the proper way of indentations so your code should not look so clumsy okay it should not be in a cluttered manner Okay, you should try to declutter your code. While you're trying to declutter your code, your code becomes more readable in nature. The last thing that we have to discuss about is hanging indentation. So what is that hanging indentation is all about? If you compare with the line break, uh, there's a slight difference uh, between the line break and a hanging indent. How, how the difference will be, we'll see uh, with a small snippet of code. So we'll again define uh, a function Let's say I have, uh, or uh, let's take an example of add itself in this case. So I'm going to define this uh, parameters int underscore arc and float underscore arc. And if I want to give a line break, I give enter. It starts with the uh, with the uh, four spaces as in this case. In in this case, it's actually considering it an eight spaces or six spaces it, it it varies one two three four five six seven eight or in this case it's seven so now the thing is uh, when i'm giving the second parameter i'm sorry the second line parameter what we are supposed to do here is we can give string underscore arc and uh, boolean underscore arc now what happens here it looks same as your line break but when it is an hanging indent I'm going to give the first line of parameter itself in the second uh, line and the rest of the parameters will be falling under the third line. Now this becomes an hanging indent. So what happens in the hanging indent is the first line will not be started with any uh, parameter uh, in the function. Instead you will go to the second line and start with your first line of parameter and then you will go with the third line and start with the rest of the parameters. If in case you have more parameters to be given with, let's say I have fifth argument, fifth argument, sixth argument. What am I supposed to do? You can have it in the same line or you go with the line break here. Okay. But you will see that the whole argument, the whole argument of a function is completely hanging uh, in a separate line. Okay. So this is what we call it as an hanging indent and uh, whenever you are using your hanging indent you ensure that uh, you will not have your argument placed in the first line okay so this is specifically for parameter based uh, indentations when you are passing a parameter for a function 
or when you're passing a parameter for your if condition, you need to follow these line breaks and hanging indentations. Apart from that, every block of statements should be indented properly. Not only for function, it could be for class also. For an instance, let's say I'm going to have, uh, okay, this is obviously an uh, uh, error here because uh, I didn't follow with the proper comma there, okay. Now, uh, coming to this, let's complete this code. Okay. Now, it's pretty good that this is a function with an hanging indented uh, arguments and then we make this function empty. Now, if you look at the class, I'm creating a class code and I'm saying employee. And this employee class will start with its uh, starting block. And then if I hit enter, there will be a four space. So you can see that every block will be started with four space or it is equivalent to a single tab. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this is the most important uh, standard that need to be followed while we are working under the PEP 8, that is Python Enhancement Proposal. The second most important component under the PEP is all about your indentation. So I believe I've given more clarity about the indentations. The three major segment of indentations are indentations with four spaces, line breaks, every line uh, can carry maximum of 79 characters, and then you split into the second line for more readability. And then you can have a hanging indent while you're passing an arguments to any function or an if block. You can have your arguments to be started from the second line of the template rather than having in the same line. That's called as a hanging indent. And uh, you can have any block and every block of its first statement or second statement or third statement have to be started by leaving four spaces from the beginning. So this is all about indentation. So in the next uh, video, we are going to discuss about code layout.